Icon boxes are a big feature of many websites. In fact, I think you can almost not buy a template or a skin from any developer, page builder or theme developer without icon boxes on those pages. A minimum of three spaced together. It's almost like a standard feature that you get. You get an icon, you get a title, you get a description, and then you have a read more button usually. And then the reason we call it a box is most times it is framed within a border. Let's look at the advanced icon box then by BD Themes and the Element Pack. We go into Elementor and I'm going to do the typical thing. I'm going to bring in three columns. And then over here, I'm just going to type in icon box. You will see there are two, but this is the one we are looking for, advanced icon box. And it says EP, which means element pack, which is the add-on by BD Themes. As always, when working with something like this, you work on one. You style it until you are done. And once you've done all of that, you copy and you paste, paste. There are some new features in Elementor that can help you by copying the style and pasting it later. But I still recommend that you do all your styling within this before you copy it to the next columns. So here we've got, well, a very standard icon box. We've got the icon, the heading, a description, and then a read more button feature here. The first thing we want to do is give it some padding. It looks really bad as it is at this moment. So if we go into style under icon image, you will see there's content and this is where we will go for the padding. I will disconnect it. And then for the right, let's say 15, make it 25, 25, and then also to the left, 25. This is highly recommended that you do this because when it comes to visibility and presentation on a website, spacing is probably the most important feature. I am thinking though to go rather to advanced and give padding for the whole section instead, maybe not for this one. So I'm going to go back to style, back to content, and I'm going to take this away. Let's connect them all again and make them zero. Go to advanced and then add my padding here, 25 all around. I want to add more here at the bottom and at the top. So I'm going to add another 20. So let's make it 45 and at the bottom also 45. Now it's looking more like the icon box I have in mind. The next thing will be my border. And I'm curious at the moment, this blue, it should be the widget. Let's just go have a look at the style, whether there's a border type that's for the icon content and read more. So over here, we go to border under advanced. We say solid, I'm gonna give it one. And then the color, I'm going to give it this orange color and I'm going to reduce it a little bit. Let's update and go view and see how it looks at this moment. And there already my icon box is taking nicely shape. Now, because I use that orange color, a good idea will be to apply it somewhere else as well. Let's go to the title, content, title over here, color, make it also orange. And then for topography, let's change a little bit up around here. Let's make it open suns. Maybe it's already on open suns. No, it's not, but now we did it. I'm going to increase the size of that one and leave it like that. Okay. And then for the description, we are happy with that. Good. Let's look at the read more and then under read more. That is our little button over there. We can give it a button shape if we want to. I'm not going to do that, but let's change the text. We got attention. Attention will mean it will shake. I remember it does a little bit of that shake option. Topography, I'm going to just increase the size. And then I want to add some padding at the top, space that out further, 25. And that didn't work at all. Oh, that's if you bring in a border. I see, okay. Not going to do anything then about that. Change it to zero. Let me just see. Something did happen there. Top. Make it crazy. Apparently, no. Good. So, no spacing options for that. Let me see the content. If I make content bottom, I don't think it will give it right. It will be inside the frame. Ah, it 
disconnect, make it zero again. Bear with me, bear with me. I sometimes just relentless, don't wanna give up. Interesting, the bottom adds to this part here, not to this part. You see there, okay. So it seems I am not able to increase the spacing between these two, but wait, I'm thinking now, read more. Let's go to topography and let's go to line height. Ah, and then what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go back to advanced, go to bottom and reduce that to 15. Yes, there is a workaround. You'll find it eventually, my son. Let's have a look quickly at the styling options. Go to content and over here is where I really like to play around with this. The first thing is I'm going to use an image. Currently you have an icon and you can style that. I'm going to switch to an image choose my own icon, which is my little cat over there. And then I can style this cat. But first thing, I just want to change the size of my little cat. So I go to style, icon image, and then over here, size, increase the cat, go back to content. And this is where I really like to play around with the icon box. When the icon box has the following features, it gets my seal of approval. And this is here where it says icon position. Click on the left. Uh, you see what I'm talking about? Click on the right. And not only that, if I click on the left, and let's reduce one of these columns so we can have a better idea. Nice. Now I can also change the alignment of this one to center and bottom. And same for the right. And to the top again. Let's put it on the right, center and top. I like this really, really, really nice. Let's put it in the center again, because one of the things I want to show you here is if you go back to style and you look at, now I have to remember where did I see the icon, 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 border, spacing, effect, content. Somewhere I got the offset and now I lost it again. Always happens like that. Additional options, here we go additional options. <sighs> Always an issue finding that. The icon vertical offset. And this is what you can do with your icon vertical offset. Now, unfortunately, this is a PNG and it's a transparent background, so it doesn't work very well. I will have to bring in an icon then for that. Let's go change it back to an icon for seeing how it works. Bring it down a little bit. Let's go change the color of that icon as well. Icon color. Good. Nah, no, I don't like it. Orange. Let's leave it at orange as well. Good. And now, of course, you just need to increase. Let's see for the, our advance for our section. Um, our padding for the top. Curious 50. There we go. Now we increase our padding for that. Let's also add some at the bottom. And now if I copy and I paste, you can style this one differently. Now, I, I told you earlier at the beginning, and I'm just hovering a little bit now and going into the area of Elementor features. If I were to change this now, let's go have a look at this color. If we were to change the color of this one, we can go to copy and then go to this one and say paste style and it will apply that. So if you do decide afterwards to make any changes to your styling here, let's do it again so you can have an idea of what's going on here. I'm going to copy that. Then we go to our content for this one, also change it. We can even change the font. Let's make it a little crazy font, make it bigger. Well, that's not bad, I like that one. And then we go again, right click, copy, right click paste style and that's how quickly you will transfer those changes that you made to one to the next one this is an icon box really nice feature very well designed of course with elementor you always have to dig into the menus where is everything one of those things that i'm not entirely sure always which is the best workflow you know as a photoshop user i can tell you every time there's an update and we just had this 
Adobe CC 2019 update. And again, there's an outcry online from so many people over certain things that have been changed. The problem is that often happens if you keep the old way and you don't adapt to the new way, your work environment becomes very cluttered because you have icons that satisfy the old users or the people who prefer an old style. And then you have new settings for the new users or people who would like to, to change. And that is always a problem with a power product even like Elementor. I can guarantee you, if you find page builders that are not that popular, you will see they don't have these challenges because their user base is much smaller and those people are happy with what they've got. But when you grow as big as Elementor, those challenges compound because everyone has got a different workflow. I have to tell you my level of frustration working with the Elementor editor is higher than I would like especially when you start bringing in add-ons from third-party developers because they tend to put things a little bit in a different spot than Elementor would. So it's like you have to learn Elementor and after every update, Elementor changes a few things. And then when you bring in add-ons from the developers, they also change things, especially when you work with developers that have many widgets. You will find the widget that they released six months ago has a special or has a specific infrastructure on how they do all their settings. And then the widget they release today is very different in how they style or where they place the things in the menu editor. That's a little rant from my side. I, I understand it because working with products like Photoshop, InDesign and Illustrator, I understand the challenges that we have to satisfy an old user base. We also try to bring in new things and smoothen up the workflow process. And in the end, it becomes quite tricky and very cluttered. The only advice I can give you is you need to use it all the time. And if you get lost, hey, I've got some advice for you. Go to this YouTube channel called Websites for Beginners. Look for the video and you can go together with me to figure out how it works. Well, that's the end for our advanced icon box, which I truly like. Please check it out at BD Themes below by clicking on the link in the description.